Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plants, and today I'm going to be making a savings tracker to start planning for next year's Go Wild. I know we're not even at this year's yet, it happens in April, um, so we're almost there, but it is time to also start thinking about next year, especially if you're not able to go this year, but are maybe planning to go next year. So I wanted to make um, just like a fun little savings tracker um, so that way you could start that. They usually announce, I mean, at least this year they announced, or I guess last year they announced where the location was and then tickets went on pre-sale around like July, August time. Um, and then like they were to the public around that time as well. Um, so I'm kind of basing it off of if I wanted to have all my money saved up by August kind of thing. Obviously, um, they do have payment plans that you could do. I think it's like it splits into like four payments or something like that. Um, so it breaks it down so you don't have to have the full thing for the ticket. Um, but you do tech like you technically do need more over that. And there are a lot of different factors that go into it. Um, some things that we're going to be tracking and the I think the budgets that I track the most for Go Wild is the ticket, um, your travel. So if you have to fly to the location or maybe you're close enough and you can drive that'll probably be cheaper um the hotel food and then if you're buying any merchandise um prior to the event or even at the event because there are some like pop-up things there's not a lot but um there are opportunities for that so those are the main things and then again a lot of those can be like a lot of those costs can be varying if you you could share four to a room if you want and it's not uncommon for people that go wild to stay with people that they've never met before um that's like the whole point and it's kind of like that fun thing but that does like reduce your cost for the hotel quite a bit whereas if you're staying there on your own it's going to be a lot more expensive currently for this go wild the um, rate for the hotel was 219 a night so obviously if you're staying for like three or so nights um, that could be pretty expensive that's like almost seven hundred dollars just by yourself but if you split that with four other people that's a lot more manageable um, anyway so I'm gonna make a cute little sheet here so I have my go wild book which currently is 30% off I have less than 20 left and then um, once it's gone it's gone forever so just keep that in mind um, the 30 page version will be gone forever so I'm gonna go to this little page in here it's like a little savings page but I think this front side is going to be focused on all of those categories and I'm going to have all the things that I am saving up for. Um, so I'm going to go in with those and then I'm going to take, I have multiple books open because I had to use multiple things. But I'm going to take five circles. So let's do this gradient one, I think right in the center. Do it right about there. And then I'll start taking my other colors and sticking them in here. So basically this front side is just going to be like the overview of what I'm saving for. And also before I forget, this washi tape is from Live Love Posh. I'm going to put this on the spine just to make it look a little cuter. Just a little bit cuter. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I can add these because I knew this was going to kind of overlap. So I wanted to make sure I got that in before. Okay, so again, this is like my overview page of all of the things that I am going to be tracking. This is like super uneven, like not centered at all. <laughs> just scoop this over a little bit I'm not super worried about it okay just like that then I'm going to take my words and again these are the things that I'm saving for I'm gonna put the ticket in the center because that's like the main thing <laughs> it's like get the ticket first and then after that you figure out all the other detail I specifically have flights um, obviously, if it's closer, then you won't have to fly. 
And then there's not, like, food's not included in the event, so you are on your own for, like, lunches and dinners and breakfast and stuff. Um, so definitely making sure that you have some funds set aside for eating out, um, going to places nearby, all that good stuff. And then I'm also just going to take this Go Wild sticker. And I'm going to slap this right at the bottom. There's a couple 2025s. And I'm just going to layer that on there. So that way I know this is for Go Wild 2025. I don't know if this one's the one that I have. Okay, I have some stars left in here. Let's use this one. I'm going to use my stars to decorate it. So again, this front side is more just an overview. I want to just have what I need to save on these areas um, and then I'll have the other other side will be more like the savings actual side the tracking side I guess so I'm just gonna go in with some of these stars though I'm using them as my decoration just kind of change things up in here Trying to choose different colors of the gradient. Oops, it's way too close. I don't want it that close. I have one like yellow one. <laughs> Adding these in here to spiffy up this page a little bit. It's kind of fun. You can kind of see where all the stars were <laughs> on the page. Try to shove them in there. Okay, got my page all starred up and decorated. So this is the front side. This is the side that like we're focusing on the big totals that we have um, for all those things. Look how fun this page looks. <laughs> There's still quite a few stars on here that I didn't use, but I think I fit about as many as I could fit in here. I am going to put a few more small ones over in this area because there's like no teeny ones over here and it looks weird it's like one big star and then nothing else so i'm gonna go in a couple more of those stars we still have a little bit i think we have two more like big ones that we could use on the other side if we wanted to. Okay, so this is the side where we're focusing on like figuring out those totals. Um, so this year's Go Wild, like the Go Wild that's about to happen, the ticket um, for presale, which presale was for people that have gone to Go Wild before or a part of um, like Wild University, um, which I think is like a subscription um, thing that's like connected to go wild. Um, so the presale tickets for that was 720. Like I paid 720 for my ticket, but then the normal ticket, um, was I think 750, but with like, uh, taxes and like fees, it ended up being, um, 775 for the ticket. So that's how much that ticket is. So that's going to be your biggest cost, I think, for the whole trip. Um, I was able to find Amber and I tickets for our flights, 
for like a hundred, like I want to say a little bit over, like not quite a hundred fifty dollars each. Um, it was a little less than that. It was like maybe like one thirty um, round trip. I think it was a little, just kidding. Maybe it was more like 150. Um, but like 150 basically like round trip for each of us. So we're each only paying 150 for our flights. Um, so like our flights really weren't that expensive. Um, we're sharing a hotel, but because it's just the two of us, you know, we're splitting a little bit bigger. So that is probably one of our other biggest totals that we'll have for this year. Um, and then of course merch, maybe like one to two hundred dollars and then food one to two hundred dollars depending if you're a person that's like I like just doing sandwiches or granola bars or blah blah that's great and you don't plan on going out to eat you can kind of base that total off of that um, and then we have to figure out a grand total so because I forgot I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add another one which I'm gonna end up covering up stars but I want to do like a grand total circle, basically, like everything that I have to save up for, um, for the entirety of the trip. And because I don't want to re-pull those back up. Or do I just do a smaller? No, I'm just going to do this one. Let's flip the gradient around though. So that way it's a different direction. So I know I just put all those stars there, but... I forgot I wanted to do like a total to put my total on it I forgot and then on this I'm just gonna put 2025 and then that'll be the spot that I write like the total so I'm estimating around like 1600 I think is where I kind of like figure out my estimate for things if I know like my ticket is a good majority of that cost and then hotels a good majority of that cost and then again those things can be varying if you stay with people then it'll be a little bit less um, but I know there are people that would rather just like have a hotel room to themselves which is totally fine as well but like you just have to remember that just means your cost if the night per night is $219 a night plus whatever like the taxes and fees and all that good stuff um you kind of just have to keep that in mind okay so this is my front page i'm gonna flip it over and then i'm gonna go back in with this washi tape still on that same spine um side that the other side is on double check <laughs> make sure i did that right so you can do this however you want. Again, I kind of like to do a majority of it like right away. So like I like to be able to just buy my ticket. I hate payments. I'm that person where like if I could just figure out like obviously I don't have the money to be able to do that. But for like smaller things like my trash, you know how garbage like usually trash companies like charge you quarterly, right? So like every three months you pay your trash bill, but I'm just like, can I, and it's really not that big of a bill. So in my head, I'm like, can I just pay the whole thing for the entire year and then just not worry about it? Like small bills like that, I just want to be able to pay all at once. And I know that's not like something that everybody can do, um, but our trash bill is only like 60 70 dollars like every quarter so i'm like i'd much rather just like throw that 480 at it at the beginning of the year and then be like okay i don't have to worry about trash for the rest of the year i just like i don't know i get annoyed with monthly payments they're not my favorite thing at all i absolutely hate monthly payments okay so on this side we're going to be tracking all of those things again and kind of just figuring out so once you kind of figure out all the things that you're saving for and your grand total you know, divide that by however many months. So if Go Wild tickets go on sale again in August, again, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, I don't know any of that, but I'm going to base it off of what happened for this year's Go Wild, and that's around the time. So that gives me five months. If I start in April, that gives me five months to save um, for it. So if I take that $775, like let's just say the price doesn't change, and that's with the taxes and fees. I did go on the website and see like what the actual total would be if you paid for the full ticket, and it was $775 with the taxes and fees and whatever. Um, if I was saving for that for the next five months to get me to August to be able to just like 
pay for my ticket in full, I'd be setting aside about $155 every single month um, up to August. And then let's just say my total budget was $1,600. Again, you can figure out your own budget, whatever you think you need. And then again, it's going to also be based on where is Go Wild going to happen because it's somewhere different every single year. Um, so if it's like in a home state, like you're you know, your travel expenses are probably going to be a lot less than people that have to fly. But I'm just going to say, let's just say 1600 I say between like fifteen and 1600 is probably good. I, I've seen some people say like $2,000. Um, but again, that completely depends. Like if you're sharing a room with four other people, you might be only paying for like a night, technically. Like once you divide that cost by four people, like you might be paying like $200 for the hotel for that entire trip um, because you split it with you know, three other people. So, um, anyway, so then that gives me eight months after August. So I got my ticket after August. That gives me eight months. If go wild is in April again, that's one of those things you kind of have to be able to adjust. And I think that's where it's kind of hard. So if you want to start saving more at the beginning and then maybe you have more than you needed and then you can start saving less once we actually have a date and where the next go wild is going to be. Um, I think that's the only hard thing about figuring this out is because it's different every single year. But let's just say we have eight months to the next go wild after I've saved for my ticket. So we have the first initial five months and then there's another eight months because let's just say it happens again in April and that gives you time to save up and in there, you know, you're purchasing your plane ticket. Um, you're not paying anything for the hotel because generally they don't charge for the hotel until you're there um, and then food and then you might be buying merch. So maybe the only two things that you might be spending during that eight months is stuff for merch um, and then your travel, like if you buy your plane ticket beforehand, obviously. Um, so let's just say I'm setting aside like another $100 um, in those next couple months to kind of get me closer to my goal of having 1600 set aside. So I'm going to just take some boxes and I think I'm actually going to just take the smaller boxes and I'm going to kind of make a little grid. So I do have all the months in here for you. So let's just say I start in April. I'm going to start in April and you can break those down. Maybe you're like, I want to set aside money every week if you get paid weekly or if you get paid bi-weekly or once a month. This could totally just be like dependent on, you know, your saving habits kind of thing. So I'm going to do April. I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm just going to go in with some boxes. And my goal would be to just set aside stuff monthly because I think in my brain, a monthly payment for me works better. But again, if you're paid weekly, bi-weekly, you know, you can kind of adjust this. If you were wanted to do weekly, I would do the smaller boxes. If I wanted to do weekly, I would do smaller boxes and say I'm going to set aside $40 every week for that entire month, you know, you could put four of these and then you could kind of keep track of it that way. But because I'm only doing it once a month, I'm just going to do one box. So I have April and then I'm going to do May. Take another box that same size. June, again, taking another box. I'm not doing a great job spacing these out. <laughs> Maybe I should set the boxes down first. That was probably my downfall, is I need to set these boxes down first. And then July. Okay, so let's just say for all these months, I'm setting aside $150. So actually, let's go in just for fun. Since I have my like numbers pre-made on here. And that means I get to use more stickers, which is always fun. Sometimes I really do just like <laughs> putting a bunch of stickers down. It's definitely more fun. Okay, 
So I'm going to put those done. And then let's just say I'm setting aside 150. So I'm going to go in and take my 100 and my 50. And I would lay these down like once I have them saved kind of thing, but I'm just going to put them down so I can see what it looks like as a whole. And if you have like a different amount, there are a couple of just regular dollar signs and then you can just write, you know, the amount or maybe you're able to save more that month and you want to do it that way. But I also like having these down because then it's a good like, okay, I need to be setting aside that much each month. Okay, and then I need to do another set for August. I'll leave a little room because I still have to put the August up there. I was like, I don't have the August. It's because I already used it in that book. I forgot. Apparently, I'm working from two different books. So, my bad. <laughs> okay. So, I have the first half. So, I would just continue doing that. And then I know after I have that, that's pretty much my ticket cost. And then I'm just going to keep going. What book was I using? I keep, like, flip-flopping books. I'm like, what am I... What am I supposed to be using? So I'm going to switch colors. So let me get my boxes down first. I'm just going to line them up with the boxes at the top. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to have one more month where I do 150. Just to cover the little extra, since it was supposed to be 155, that'll basically cover that. And then after that, I think I'm just going to save 100. So, Adding that in there, and then we still have a few more months that we could save, be saving up for things. So we have December, and again, this is based off of if Go Wild is in March again, or not March, April. Last year it was in March. Okay, technically we're at seven months because if the event's in April, so not eight months, seven months, sorry. I can't math. <laughs> so if I have like, if I give myself the first five months to focus on the funds that I need for my ticket, then my ticket's all taken care of, then everything after that is just for, you know, getting there, sleeping there. All that good stuff. So because I'm short a month, I'm actually going to up some of these. And that actually gives me my full amount and a little bit extra, a little extra wiggle room. So technically, I wouldn't have to save anything for March 
and that could be for like maybe table make gifts or all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to have a little extra for wiggle room um, in there. I'm also going to put this 2025 Go Wild Prep right down in here. And then I'm going to go back to my circles because I think I have some still in here. Not a lot. I used all my circles for my monthly spread. <laughs> okay, I have some in here, so we're good. Between all the books, I have circles. So I'm just going to put a couple of circles in here. So what I'm going to use, what I'm planning to use these circles for is to write when I've completed money for like one of these bigger funds, right? So in these, I'm probably going to write really big, which let me go back to this page, really big. So I'm just going to put some little dollar signs in here and I want to leave some room because I'll probably put like the hotel name up there of like wherever the hotel is, that kind of thing. The ticket is just like the ticket price. So I'm going to put that in there. And then my flights, I think I'm going to do two, even though I know like you get the total for round trip. Sometimes I like to have like what each way was and put like the actual total of my flight. And then for food and then for merch, which I need a little help getting this one up. Okay, just like that. So what I'm planning to do is have this side just say the totals, right? That's all this side is, what I'm estimating those to be. Down here, I'll write like the grand total of what I'm hoping to save. On the back, this is showing me all the things, like how I'm planning to save, how much I need to save each month up to the next go wild. Again, we're basing this off of the fact that it'll be in April again. I don't know if that's the case, but that's the hope. And then my goal is to write in these circles when I've completed one of these. So like the goal is by August, I should have all the money for my ticket. So then I can put ticket check. Like it's just like a little like you did it kind of good job, you know, go girl, <laughs> that kind of thing. So that's what I'm planning to use those circles for is just like a little note of like I completed each thing or whatever. I probably like the main things I'm worried about or the main things that I'm like want, have to make sure I have money for, you know, is the ticket, my flight and the hotel. After that, I could easily adjust my food and my merch budget. So I'm not like super worried about those. So I'll probably just have those be you know, together in one, um, cause I'm not as worried, but I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to finish off this star page. Cause there's only a couple more stars left on here. So I'm like, might as well finish them out. Get all of these out of here. I think I did it. Oh no, there's one more, one more star. Oh, like bent it under itself. Okay, I think I did it. I think I got all the stars. Oh no, I missed one. Just constantly finding more. Okay, there we go. I think now I got all of the stars off of this page. It looks super fun. This would be kind of fun to peel off and then put on a paper and have it be a background or something like that. But there we go. That's how I'm planning to save for Go Wild. I know that might not work for everybody, but that is an idea of something that you can do. Again, I just like to have an overview page. And then this is just like a reminder of what I should be setting aside each month. And then I'll put down once I have, you know, the bigger expenses taken care of. And then the food and the merch I can adjust as we get closer. Um, but all I have to do is punch it. And then it is ready to go in my planner. So there we go, you guys. I so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!